Hello and welcome back to Alex Makes Stuff. My name is Makes and today we have another fun little project. A good friend and neighbor recently got some new quartz countertops and he had a piece left over. So he asked me if I could make him a matching paper towel holder. Yes, indeed. I will be using this one as a sort of a guide, but I think I can accomplish everything I need with just this piece that he gave me. A dowel, this little guy that I like the top to, and some bolts. I got some bolts here should do the trick. I've got this masonry drill bit. I've never drilled a hole in quartz or stone before like this. I'm sure this is made for concrete, but I think it'll do the same thing. Stone can't be that tough, can it? <laughs> I'm sure it can actually. So, but we're gonna give this a shot and see what we can do. So here we go. So before I get started doing any tough stuff, I figure I'll just mark out all my things that I need to mark out with my pencil. <clears throat> that includes drawing a center on this guy drawing a circle on my spacer piece of wood. I might draw some lines in the back of here. What I want to do, because I like the top of this guy, is I can't remember what it was called, like a rosette or something. It's not made for what I'm doing, but I'm going to use it anyway because it's a sexy little piece of wood. But I'll probably chop this down, make it rounder, maybe hexagonal, I'm not sure. Hexagonal, octagonal, who knows? Um, we'll figure it out. But uh, And I got my dowel here that I want to cut down. So let's start with this guy and we'll just draw some lines. Take a tri-square. Go from corner to corner. Easiest way to find the center of something. Ooh. And I'm just gonna draw some lines here. Wow, nice line, dude. They say I'm an expert. I don't believe them. But she blows. Right over yonder. So that'll be where I drill my hole. actually an old sanding block this should do fine I need a piece of wood that will match these pretty well and I didn't want to use like hardwood because it just the grain wouldn't be the same so this is popular very popular this little guy this little sanding block very popular guy no uh, this is a piece of poplar this is a piece of pine they're pretty much the same they're, they're very similar in wood species I'm just gonna use the inside diameter of my tape Let's get a circle this little spacer piece is just gonna be sitting underneath the paper towel roll on the platform so it's got less friction from it you know sliding along the like the entire surface of the paper towel okay, so i'll do the same thing on this guy well it's magic it's just sticky there my center use this paper towel roll as a guide extra quarter inch just because I will probably sand down the ends of this dowel so that it's nice and smooth before I drill Pretty much everything marked out. Shapes. All right, let's cut down this dowel first things first so we got a workable length. Okay, looks like we're going from the other side, please. least favorite way to use the saw but it can be done just square this end off like I said it doesn't really matter how long it is it just needs to be long enough to be nice safety glasses first right scooch there it is. Here we go it helps when it's plugged in wouldn't you say Glad you guys are all here to watch me do stupid things. Proof that I exist. Here we go. This much that much sticking out so that should be fine that should be just fine while we're here I'm just gonna cut this to a square so that I can sand it down much easier to correct shape compound saw so we just yeah, yeah. go like that isn't that wonderful let's make sure this is in the right spot not too much Oh, 
Now I still have a mini sanding block. And I got my circle cut out. Okay, so I've just got this steel punch. I'm gonna give this a whack. Uh, find a hammer, find a hammer, find a hammer. If I crack this in half first try, the video ends here. I'll still upload it, but I'll be really sad. Oh, it's nerve wracking. I really don't want to be doing that. I don't know how rock works, dude. That's all I'm gonna do. It's got a little bit of an indent in there. Seriously, if I crack this thing open before I even have a chance, I'll be really, really, really sad. So I'm not gonna do any more than that. It's got a little indent in there. I can feel it with my drill. Let's see. Yeah, I can feel it with the drill. All right, cool. All right, so like I said, I've never drilled a hole in stone like this before, but I did a little Google and a little YouTubing and I found out you just gotta drill slow and it needs water supply. So I've got no fancy doodads for squirting water. I do, however, have arms and a bucket. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pour it over there slowly. I'm gonna drill slowly. I've got a set on one instead of two. I got my masonry tool in here. Let's give this a shot. Two hours later. So yesterday I was using this drill bit. Definitely made from concrete. Was not working at all. I got these uh, diamond uh, tile cutting bits. This should do the trick. Let's give this a shot. Hope you don't watch me fail for another 20 minutes. Okay folks, we got our hole drilled and we have our bigger hole, which was actually many holes drilled on the other side. It's perfect to fit the nut. I will sit in here. Right. More than flush, I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna have this guy drill a hole through here, cut it into a circle so it's got a little space um, and that will fit through the top there too go into a hole that I will drill in this dowel to sit on top and then I'll drill another hole from the other side and I'll screw this into there I'll glue it into this one and then I'll cut off this top hole I'll drill a shallow hole into this guy and I'll you can you know you'll be able to screw it on there but that's what we're gonna do now uh, I'm gonna drill the hole in this guy and then I'll sand it into a circle I'm also gonna sand up these two edges I mean the saw did a fine job and I want to sand them just in case they're not as even as they could be. And then sand this all by hand so it's nice and smooth. And I got a counter sinkle hole in this guy so I can get this nut. Because that's going to sit in there to keep this nice and tight to this. And this nice and tight inside of that. So let's do that. There we go. 
so that's that. So, should be able to I don't want to screw it in all the way because I don't know that I'll be able to get this bolt out if I don't. I, I'm going to put this together. I'd like it to be a one-time deal, but I've still got to cut this into a circle, so let's do that. Much less the sand. There we go. Got a little chamfer on the sides there. Nice and smooth. This side's going down, so I'm not worried about those pencil marks. This top, I'll probably sand this down by hand because it seems like this won't get rid of the clamp marks, but that's not a big deal. I want to make it smooth as glass anyway, so, you know. Look at that. Alright, let's get that dowel drilled. Let's see if this is straight on both sides. Looks like it. Cool. This hole should be just big enough to twist this in and create permanent threads. So. Ooh. Yes, sir. It's doing exactly what I wanted. I know I have a... do it. Almost forgot to drill a hole in this guy. I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with this. I, I don't want it to be a full square. I'll probably cut the corners off this like I did and sand it into a circle, but let me get these holes drilled first.
I'll sand a little bit of this by hand. I'll sand this by hand and then we'll polyurethane and we're pretty much done. All right, so I've got everything polyurethaned. Let's see if we can assemble these pieces. Damn, that's 30. And that much what it will look like let's throw one of these guys on here for you Papoe. look at that gorgeous so here we are with our almost finished paper towel holder the only thing i need to do still is uh, i'm gonna put some five minute epoxy in this hole i thought we would use wood glue but i can't find my wood glue so we'll put some five minute epoxy in here we'll screw in our bolt and then we need to cut it off with our angle grinder and then uh, screw in the top so that it uh, secures the paper towels in there. Um, so I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna mix up this five minute epoxy and do a couple of drops in there. I wonder if I can get this to sit up in here. Well, while I was trying to change camera angles, I guess I stopped the video, so. Uh, I got the five minute epoxy in there. Basically it went something like this. Mixy, 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 drip, drip, drip into hole. Twisty turn, click, click, click. That was pretty much it. Sorry, sorry I didn't get the whole thing on video. I'm pretty disappointed about that. I had a great camera angle. I set up my thing up there and it was looking down on me. It was, I thought it was great, but he missed it. So this is gonna set, I'm gonna wait five minutes for this to set and then I'll chop off the top bolt part and I'll screw this guy in there. I'll probably unscrew it and screw it a couple of times so it's much easier to get on and off um for the users but uh yeah so this guy's almost done just gotta wait a little bit oh i actually lied when i said that was the last thing i gotta do i'm gonna put some felt on the bottom i'm also gonna take my files and just kind of soften up these edges on the stone here uh, on the bottom and on that uh, on the corners i don't know i mean i tried it a little bit yesterday with one of my files metal files are doing an okay job but it certainly does take a while i was wrong about rock not being hard who would have thought rock would be so hard but um, it's definitely extremely hard, so I um, might have to do a little bit of filing. But I want it to be soft so you don't like bump into it and slice your finger off or anything like that. So we'll do that too. Before we get our felt on, I found some felt. Oh no. Gross. Anyway, before we get our felt on the bottom of this guy, I figured the white felt would be great because it is the same color. You hardly see it. Uh, I do want to soften up these edges because they're a little rough. So I'm going to take my file here and I'm just gonna go at it. Oh no, Alex, you're gonna ruin your file. Yeah, I know, that's totally fine because I have a whole bunch of them. And I don't know if you guys have seen my other video where I talked about this little four-way rasp because it's got like rasp on either side and it's got like these like actually good files. This is like the only one I use because these files don't actually do anything to anything else. So I'm not too worried about ruining them to be totally honest with you. So we'll give it a shot. If it works, it works. If not, well, it's okay to fail sometimes. I'll rest this on something. I don't want to damage the wood that I already finished, so let's just see what happens. Oh yeah. A little dust. A little rock dust in the lungs never hurt anyone. It's not true. Don't breathe in rock dust. Get our angle grinder we'll cut this off and then we will uh glue the felt on and then we'll be done should be pretty quick a little slice
There we are, actually. Crank it down so it's even. I like geometric. There we are. So let's unscrew this a couple of times. Let me maybe file down that top part a little bit so it doesn't scratch anyone that goes to use this thing. I would hate to have any of my inventions hurt anyone. Lesson, of course, I was inventing some kind of death machine, but you know. Nobody's asked me for any of those yet. But if you're interested in a death machine, let me know. Let's put a paper towel roll on here and see what it looks like all, all together. should work. Let's glue that felt on and bring this project to a close. Eventually, sawdust will stop coming out of here. But not today. But it is not this day. So let's let this set for an hour, and then I'll come and I'll cut the corners. Uh, we'll call her in. Here we are, an hour later. Let's cut this off. I got my uh, sewing scissors here. Seems like it's dried. Let's do some slicing. One more little thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my lighter along the edges of this guy so that I can keep the frillies from doing what they do. I tested it out on one side, I'm not really sure, so I guess I'll just do them all again. Anyway, don't wanna burn it, but I do want the things to get like kinda of cauterized. No more frillies peeking out from the sides. Very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another one in the books. This is a wonderful looking little paper towel holder. I'm very excited about how it turned out. Love that little top piece. I think it adds a little flair. I love the stone that he gave me. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. And if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, leave a like, leave a comment, share it with a friend, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care.